Hey, Queens and Keys. Keys, welcome back, y'all, to the vlog to the day in the life with me. I think I'm feeling myself, which I have a lot to do, but I'm about to go get me some crabs because um I need to do this this seafood mukbang. Basically, it's telling you guys where I've been at, but I think that video will come out before this video. What's been going on? Then there's a vlog coming up. A day in the life before this, you guys, to see the chaos there. This is after that. Um, because I showed you, told you guys, I'm going to show you guys the table. Well, I was going to do a decorate with me for the table, but, eh, I guess I'll show you guys, though. But I'm going to show you guys what I have on right now. Because feel, I'm feeling myself. I'm a little makeup or whatever, a little natural look or whatever. So, I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so this is me. Look at my little pudge. Trying to hide just a t-shirt and some little cute little sweats with my little gold shoes that I had for my wedding um, that I DIY you know little sweats in a crossbody oh yeah I'm showing sure, y'all yeah, I'm so terrible at this in a crossbody and my little hair or whatever I think I'm cute but I need to get rid of some of these this little pudge going on here but yeah cheap little Florida well I fit very comfortable you know, but I don't know about these pants because they're a little see-through. So, I don't know about that there. That's going to drive me crazy. But, yeah, shirt was like $2 from Walmart. These pants were from Burlington, $5 clearance. And my little wrist, candy wrist, you know, or whatever, my little purse. Then I got my watch on from the um, collaboration I did with... Um, what it is. Lord have my sir. Drove. Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, so let's go ahead. Oh, let me show you guys the um living room still a little decent. A little decent, a little decent. But okay, so here's the table. Just want to give you guys a quick little table skate before we head out. I love it. I love it. I love it. This table is full of layers, as you guys can see. Like or oh, just I've been dying to do this. And don't worry about all that stuff in the background. That stuff that I'm going to do on Posh Marsh. And the Goodwill. But look how gorgeous it is. Even though the table is wooden. I didn't want a wooden table. But I just went on out for it. Because they actually go with my bar stools. So. I was like why not. Why the heck not. So. But most of the items on here came from Z Gallery. Now, I'm going to just do a little quick little run of the stuff that came from Z Gallery or whatever it came from. Okay, the table came from Walmart. These little mats, um, the placemats came from TJMats.com. These mats here, the silver ones here, came from Z Gallery. Z Gallery, all Dollar Tree plates. Those napkin rings there came from Z Gallery. These came from Bed Bath & Beyond. The teal one here came from Z Gallery. These wine glass came from Ross, but you do. Oh, the lighting is killing you guys. But um, Z Gallery does have them as well. These little pepper and salt shakers came from Z Gallery. Of course, the runner from Z Gallery. Home Goods. This is a vase that I had for years. I revamped the DIY that I did purchase from Home Goods a long time ago. Flowers from Z Gallery. White flowers from Walmart. And these candles holders here came from Ross. And that's pretty much the whole tablescape. So, it is it. Once I get some tables, these, I mean chairs, oh my God, it's, it's going to be lit. Like, oh, I love it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, Queens and Kings, so we're going to get these crabs. I do apologize for the angle. I have to get a tripod that sit on the dashboard because this one here is like over in the corner. So hopefully I can go ahead and get these damn crabs and get on back to the house. It's 1 30, it's 12 30 now. I will talk to you guys once I go get my food. Okay, y'all, so we done made it back. 
I got my crabs. Let's look, look, they are buckled down. I had, well, I don't take the seatbelt off now, so. <laughs> but I got my crabs. I mean, I had them seatbelt down and everything. So, yeah. Yeah, um, yes, I'm feeling myself today. I'm feeling myself. Feeling myself. <laughs> okay, so let's go up in here. I'm about to go bust these crabs down. Like I said, um, about to do this little mukbang. Basically, tell you guys where the hell I have been. <laughs> like what <laughs> so yeah and i think you guys will see that video before you see this little day in the life vlog here so hey let's go oh my goodness and i'm so greedy i got two plates y'all let me show you guys just how greedy i am i got one with what is this corn crabs egg and potato and shrimps back there and then i got this one just with crabs so all these are snow crabs so oh my god this is about to be the bomb diggity bomb look how oh life okay so queens y'all should have seen the mukbang chit chat where the hell i've been video by now i just finished recording that i'm still sitting here on the floor about to get ready to watch me some hustle and soul before I go pick everybody up. Up, Jam should be coming home pretty soon. I'm not even sure what time it is. Yeah, Jam should be coming home. She'll be getting out of school in the next five minutes. She'll be. Cause it's about to be three o'clock. That mean I got to get up, go pick up the hubby from work, and get Andre from school. So I'm about to finish this up, and I'll see y'all in a minute. Don't ever take your love away. I'll be here always. I never thought I'd fall so deep. So, before I get copyright, on the way to pick up the hubby right now, this traffic is a beast here in Orlando. That was part of the reason why I didn't want to stay in nowhere. No more. But everywhere you go, traffic is bad. Everywhere you go. So pick him up. Then we go pick the kids up. Pick Andre up. Jamie should be at least home by now. Because she wasn't there when I left. What is today? It's today. Wednesday? Yeah, I think today is Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. But she should have been home because early release was today. So, yeah. Seems like I beat my husband here. They haven't pulled up just yet. But, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I ate too much crabs. I'm full as a tick right now. Jesus Christ, I ate too much. Seen both of the plates. I, that's what I get for being so damn greedy. Too greedy. Greedy, greedy, greedy. In no damn sense how greedy I was. Guess I get back home to try to work on my closet. I work on my closet since the hubby got him a little man cave. I'm happy for that though. Yeah, I am so excited to have this closet. I have so many ideas in my head about what I want to do to this closet. I, I just can't make up my mind exactly what I want to do, though. He just sent a text, so he must be pulling in or at the light or something. So, I don't know. But I have so many ideas. I went on Pinterest trying to get ideas. I don't know. It's, it's going to be a progress. I know that much. I want a, a shelf because I need for shoes and stuff like that. Um, I actually want to see can I make one as make a shelf, use a shelf as like a little vanity that I can sit down to it as well. So I'm thinking of putting a shelf inside the closet on the opposite side of the closet on one side of the closet because in my closet it have one side have these two shelves well hanging hooks how can I explain this 
one set that you can hang clothes and then you got the, the one beneath that there you can hang clothes then you got one just one tall area that don't have the second shelf or whatever second row for the hang clothes so that, that's what I'm basically trying to put the 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 shelf into that closet then make it as like the vanity area then probably have shoes and everything on the side of it or something I just have this vision because I don't want to make it too crowded because if I put one in the back of the closet I feel like it's gonna make it crowded and that's gonna prevent me from hanging clothes or whatever. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I only have that many clothes to hang up any damn way. I got more home decor than I got clothes. Y'all see? Y'all see it's so sad. It's so sad. I don't have no jeans. I take that back. I think I have one pair of jeans and one pair of yeah, one pair of short jeans. The kings apologize i apologize for yesterday my phone basically i lost storage so well i didn't have enough storage in my phone so i wasn't able to finish what i was talking about which i was basically talking about my ideas and stuff for this closet back here since i'm gonna baby have my own closet now and I think I was talking about you no know, clothes wise or whatever, which I don't have a lot of them. And but then I have others like the sweats stuff that I wore yesterday, which I have the black pair on today. Um, you know I have those and other things like that. I basically was saying, but I do have like dresses and skirts and stuff. But I really don't go too many places now, so I don't usually get to wear none of them. So it's like they just in the closet to be in the closet to fill up the space. But everything else is like work clothes so since I don't do nothing but working home mostly I don't really worry about buying no clothes but I want to show you guys the closet what I was trying to tell you guys um the idea for what I have and right now Dre is in the process is taking all his stuff out and put it in his man closet his man cave how he's gonna put all his stuff in it I don't know because his side or well, the side he had his clothes were from top to the bottom like was no space in there so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it is okay so here it is this is the side that he had all his clothes in and this decided I was talking about putting all my clothes at or whatever the little that I do have which is over here and y'all see my side just a mess and this is my side this is regular how my side looking like everyday what was looking before Dre took his clothes out of there so I got shoes and stuff all down there. I got decor. Um, all types of stuff down here that... Because before we did have the dressers that the TV sitting on in here. We had those in here because I had... Remember I had the fireplace over there where the TV's at now. So uh, we had the dresser here. So I had one here and he had one over here. So his side was full to the max. Full to the max. I mean, you couldn't get nothing in on his side. And he claims that he wear all those clothes, which he don't. I am still trying to talk him into decluttering his stuff. But he would not. he do it every blue moon. He'll do a little piece here, a little piece there. But it don't look like he made a dent in none of his stuff. So what I'm going to do now is basically take all his hats and stuff out. And I'm going to put go through my purses and stuff, my bags and all and put them up there what I want up there but let me tell you guys the rest of the plans like I said my clothes is gonna go over here here I'm thinking about putting a bookshelf here on this end and one on this end here so in the middle here I can put my vanity now the thing is with that is if I put my vanity in here, I'm not sure how much room I have on the side or how much store space I can put in here. So what I think I'm going to do, just go ahead and try remove all this stuff out the way and try it and see how it's going to look. Because right now I'm using my vanity inside the living room as another side table or whatever. But yeah, and I'm going to basically on this wall here, I'm going to put my long length mirror and we're going to, I'm going to DIY another chandelier to go up there something a little bit different um so yeah yeah you know get another rug and stuff like that but right now this is what this closet looking like y'all this is what it looking like from bottom to top so you know what let me just go ahead and start moving these caps and everything out of the way Come 
home though to see that it's done already. He moving too slow. <laughs> stuff that I have not even noticed that I did I wasn't missing you hear bag of polish bags of this bag is full of fingernail polish this is and some icebreakers <laughs> that made no damn sense I don't know how to go through that <laughs> I did this little colored chair on YouTube a while back. Look at there. Where I use a Target dollar spot envelope. And I put some fur on it. made me a little furry white purse. Cute. <laughs> DIY anything. Oh. This one. So I have a lot of clutches. A lot. Some of these I have hauled. I think I hauled this one here. Um, this one. And this is brand new. I never carried this one. This is one of my favorite, but it catches so much lint. Because I have some shoes that match this. It catches so much lint. But I think I hauled this too. So I know I got to do that better. But look at this one here. This is brand new. Look. Don't go nowhere, but I love it. This is badass here. This is badass. I don't even know where I got this from. But I love it. I love it. Then I got some little, what, snake skin? I don't even wear this one either. Once I probably get this closet together, then I can probably really go ahead and do some more. The cleaning, declutter of my purses. Because um, now when it comes down to purses, I'm attached to them. I really am. Um, I don't care for them if they name brand or not. As long as they're cute or whatever. And colorful. I love them. Look at this little furry one here. I got this from Hair Together. Family Dollars. I think 6 or $7 for this. I got a blue one too. So here's the blue one. And I do wear these. I do wear them. I do. I love them. I love them. I love this little neon color. I have some shoes. Like, it's super bright with that light. Like, it's not that bright in person. Like, even that green need is more like a yellow. Like a, a highlighter yellow. But, some cute little clutches. I was racking up the same kinds. The same kinds. <laughs> transition my clothes over here so what i'm gonna do is basically put my husband clothes over here just for the time being till he come and get his stuff because he real picky about when i go move and stuff he always claim that he can't find nothing so if he be a little more organized maybe he can find something <laughs> closet and stuff like that declutter i'm actually gonna put some stuff on poshmark but i will let you guys know i think i said it before i don't know i can't remember did i say it but i not said i will let you all know when i decide to put this stuff on poshmark because i got a, a whole line of stuff that's loaded just laid out loaded up it's gonna be some home decor items as well because i learned home decor is on there also it's not just stuff out of your closet so Y'all gonna have to be able to shop my car, so I'll let y'all know. I'll let y'all know.
Big Lazy King. So I have done the closet to my best ability that I can basically organize at this moment. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I need to be put up, but I can't put any other stuff up until I get the shelf or whatever to go in the closet. I really do need to go ahead and try to put my vanity in here and see how it would turn out. Um, I don't know. I just don't feel like actually moving it. It's, it's just heavy. It's just a hassle. And then I got to move the stuff that's on top of it. It's like, okay, where am I going to put the stuff at that's on top of it? So it's like, that's the reason why I don't want to move it right now to figure out what I'm going to do. So, but I'm going to show you guys what I have done. Um, I'm liking the way that it's coming along. Um, partial, I ain't going to say partial, just a little, just a little bit, a pinch <laughs> of my vision is coming along. I still have some of my husband's stuff in here, but I just pile his stuff up as neat as possible. So when he get ready to move it, he move it. Well, I ain't going to say when he get ready to, because, you know, I'm anxious now since the moving, the transition and all that going on. So. I'm ready for him to move his stuff on out of there. But anyways, let me show you guys what I have done. Okay, so here it is. Um, This is what it is. Look like I got some clothes out there. I got it all scattered out, right? <laughs> so you see I have put the mirror up there. And it's dirty. <laughs> But this is what I have going on up here. So all this stuff here needs to be put in place. But I can't put anything in place until I get those shelves. Those shelves this is what's going to bring this closet to life. So I just organize what I do have down here. The little shoes and stuff that I do have. I didn't organize none of that. I just got a place there because there's nothing going to really be going over here. So nobody be stepping on it. Um, These are my dresses now. This the dilemma when it comes with them. I don't know what I'm going to do with these here i may just buy um like a storage bin to put them in since i don't have that many but sad to say most of them are still new dresses it's the crazy thing as well as those belts and all like ugh, it's just ridiculous but this is what i have going on up here so this stuff gonna be going on my like vanity um when i put the bookshelves in or whatever so this stuff here is my husband clothes and stuff that he need to get he like to keep towels in the closet so but uh, yeah this is what's going on i'm gonna put a rug down here i'm gonna diy that stool because it's gonna be my little stool for my vanity so he can just slide up under the vanity and he's got to get his shoes and stuff the rest of his stuff his items there i mean but most likely this is what we got going on so pretty much yeah it's coming along it is coming along so I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And it's the reason why I didn't want to put no shelf because of the mirror. I wanted the mirror in the closet to open it up a little bit more or whatever. So I don't know. You guys tell me. You guys let me know your thoughts and stuff like that because I need some more ideas. But I really think the idea of putting a shelf here and one here on each end of the closet. Nothing too big. Nothing too wide. So once, you know, if we move or whatever case like that i could use other place in the house and stuff i don't have to worry about it or if i could reuse it or whatever but i think i'm gonna go check the ikea but i don't think ikea have none as short as i need so i may have to order some from amazon or something like that but i don't want nothing too bulky too wide i want it to be narrow and the ones that i did see that is narrow it's like 80 some dollar but they are 72 inch tall you know so it's too tall for this area so i gotta figure something out figure something out i don't want to make nothing i don't want to go to the store and buy no wood and make nothing i just want to stick them in the closet and decorate it and keep on going now for the tv area you can see that i have cleaned it up so i'm liking that it's less stuff that is on top of the tv area and stuff like what well, on my little ikea little lack shelf or whatever those shelves what are those shelves called i think that's the name of them i don't know but I'm liking that it's, it's not as cluttered and stuff like that. So I need to find a canvas or something or probably mount the TV on the wall. We're still debating on that. But yeah. Oh, I did get me some curtains from Z Gallery. Hold on, I'm going to show you guys. So here's the curtains. I went and got these because it match this pillar here, which I'm still looking for another. But I'm just going to probably DIY it and use this for a backing on it. So... 
pretty much so it actually matched my headboard into a I really find a bed that I want. Well, I seen one that I want, but it's like fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> and I seen one at American Signature Furniture for like half of that price. So ugh. And they don't even have the color that I want anymore at American Signature Furniture, so bomber. But this is gray fabric that I use for the headboard that I got from Hobby Lobby. And it happened to match, you know, with the curtains and the curtains match with these, this pillow here that I got from Family Dollars. Because I had one of you queens to ask me about it. I think I answered you though. Um, but if anybody have any more questions, yeah, this is where I got the pillow from. And I didn't see any more. I just found this one pillow. So I think I'm just going to bust it open because I probably can. Yeah. Bust it open and basically make it into two so I can have two pillows so I can put on my bed here. And then here, the curtains. I got these, of course, I got it from Z Gallery. Um, $15 or $20 or something off I had got them off. Um, but these are 84 inch. I really wanted to go all the way to the ceiling, but for to get a 96 inch, they like almost $80 for a panel. So I don't know. What I'm thinking of doing is just adding this fabric onto the top of it or to the bottom of it. You guys let me know. Just to bring it up a notch, you know, just so the curtains can go all the way up to the ceiling and stuff like that so that's my idea that's my plan or whatever that I got going on and hopefully the rest of this bedroom come along but yeah so that is pretty much it though for what I got going on today um I don't know what else else I'm gonna do try to get Rid of some more of this stuff in the house. Um, declutter some more some stuff that I could take to the Goodwill before I need to do my put stuff up for Posh Marsh and stuff like that. Um, what time is it? About three something. So I'm sooner or later I need to be going to pick up the husband and pick Andre up from school. Then Jasmine should be on her way. She walks in the afternoon sometime, depending on where I'm going at the moment. But that is pretty much what's going on today in this vlog and what I had going on in my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, the little day in the life with me. What be going on when nobody hears to the house. I can actually get some things done when they're not here. Um, I will keep you guys updated. Most likely when I get ready to show you, you guys the closet, it's going to be a separate video. The complete closet tour, you know, because there's still more things that I want to do in what I'm going to do. You know, make it look like a custom closet or make it look better than a renter friendly. You know, what? Well, it's going to be renter friendly, but look better than a rental closet. So, yeah, but that's all that I have going on. You want to see more content like this or you just want to see some DIYs. You want to see some hauls. Hauls, I'm going to slap back off until I get all this stuff out of this house, though, but... You know, until I do my little max declutter, then I probably can get back into hauls. But, you know, usually the things that I do is basically is home decor. And, but if you do enjoy the video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Share the video. Subscribe. Do not leave here without subscribing. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye-bye.